I am Ellie Shaw and I am the senior mine geologist for the Woodsmith project. We've got Bell Geospace in and uh, they're doing a magnetic and a full tensor gravity survey which was developed by the, by the Navy to keep nuclear submarines hidden because if they used sonar to, to map out the area around them then they could be discovered. So using the FTG means they can map the area but there's, there's, no, there's no emissions from the, the device itself. And they're basically measuring the Earth's gravitational magnetic fields um, as the plane flies over above the Earth. So it comes back to, uh, to the polyhalite itself. Um, it was deposited about 260 million years ago on the edge of the, the Zechstein Sea. So what we're trying to do is use this technique to, to enable us to, to map the coastline as it was at the time of deposition um, and that in turn will give us a lot more information about the deposit itself which enables us to use that understand it better and down the line mine it more effectively because of where we sit within the national park um, we don't want to be causing any environmental disruption by peppering the landscape with drill holes. Um, so the FTG technique is, is a passive, non-invasive technique, uh, which when combined with the drilling we have, and also with our historic seismic data, they're, they're very complementary, and, and they will enable us to use all the information that we have to build a more accurate picture of the geology below our feet. Uh, an FTG survey works by Rather than just taking the, the vertical component of, of gravity, it actually looks at all three. So it looks at the X, Y and Z fields and then takes the derivatives and the changes between those fields to create a full 3D picture of the geology below. Different rocks have different magnetic and gravity signatures, um, which are relating to their physical properties and the, the densities. Um, so we can use this data that we're collecting to, to pick out sort of variations in the, the rock strata itself, which will enable us to build a, a regional geological model of the area.